Jim Fannin Show. I'm going to get into all kinds of stuff current and important to you today, hopefully. But first, Biden's HHS pick advocates sex changes for kids. It's the way we want it here. Not sure exactly who is standing for the children. Certainly not these people. Biden's HHS pick advocates sex changes for kids. All this talk of puberty blockers and helping children as young as three years old transition by indoctrinating them with sexual education in the classroom is nuts and if you think three is a little extreme yeah it is exactly anyway this is uh we're going to touch on that a little bit as we go get some clips for you it's going to be a quick hit in and out you know what to do like share subscribe comment if you like it if you don't then you don't but how you find the jim fannin show we're still around uh i didn't know i had to publish my page uh patreon.com slash free speech that's patreon.com slash free speech is the link for the jim fannin show patreon fundraising page of whatever you want to call it (laughs) it's up here now i've never had a donation maybe because well maybe because the page wasn't public some posts up here. I, I got to get better at uh, creating content for specifically for Patreon. And uh, I promise I will do that in the future. But if you have uh, not donated and you feel like you want to, I've never had a donation to this page. So I'm anxious to see that it works. <laughs> so get out your fat outers. Here is me on the fake book. It's fake book, facebook.com slash Jim Fannin. Just like almost all of my accounts used to be before I started getting hacked and terminated. Here is parlor.com slash Jim Fannin. Uh, You can find me on Parlor by searching Jim Fannin. You can find me on Twitter still on my third account. See, I had at Jim Fannin. It got targeted, targeted by lefties. Then I had at Jim Fannin show. It also was targeted and terminated because of the activism of wild and crazy people like Rob Gill who call out for action on people like me who are charged as a hateful bigot. That was covered in in a previous program. I don't need to go into that. So at Team Niagara is where you find me now. I'm on the Twitter. I'm a much smaller account now than I was with over 10,000 at Jim Fannin. And then uh, over 2,000 at Jim Fannin show. Now I'm just a little guy again, starting over. Here is my profile on Twitch. You can follow me there. Twitch.tv slash Jim Fannin show. Here's my profile on LinkedIn. Don't go to LinkedIn all that much. It's linkedin.com slash IN slash Team Nag. Excuse me. LinkedIn.com slash INN slash Team Niagara. You can find me there. And now, who is going to protect the children? This is a transgender medical health officer. (laughs) On Thursday, the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee will hold a nomination hearing for Dr. Rachel Levine, President Joe Biden's pick for Assistant Secretary of Health at the Department of Health and Human Services. There are plenty of reasons for the committee to be concerned about placing Dr. Levine in such an influential and powerful role. If you're not viewing this, if you're only listening on the podcast, I will put the links to all the articles that I'm reading or the links to the videos that I'm showing you in the description. 
I hope you enjoy them. Uh, this is at the National Pulse. Um, I'm not going to read it all to you, but I will play you a little clip. It goes something like this. You know, where's my volume now? Where is the volume? Male to female. Oh. And, and now you're getting, you know, your voice is dropping, you're getting bigger, you're getting hair everywhere, and you're growing those tentacles. Um, and, and what if you're a transgender young man and now you have breast development in periods? It can be terrifying. There's a lot of mental health issues during that time. The previous treatment uh, before these new guidelines came about were, that's when you're 18 and have a nice life. Basically, there were no medical, there was no medical treatment for individuals. I can't even say what I want to say about this woman. Woman and I really should have like finger quotes going. Like, who's actually... <sighs> it's a transgender woman. She is the secretary of medical health. I'm thinking she probably has her own mental health issues. Could be wrong. I don't know this woman. But, like, am I the only one that's repulsed by this? transitioning children so there are new guidelines so these are the new guidelines that are very well accepted by by um, healthcare professionals what's the music uh, in the background who did this and most children's hospitals um, will be doing for, for pre-pubertal children there is no what? medical pre-pubertal children uh, okay Transgender medicine, Stand, standards of care, age less than 18, recommends no medical treatment for pre-pubertal children with gender dysphoria. See, <laughs> gender dysphoria. Adolescents are eligible for medical treatment. Oh, sorry, lost my space. Oops. Why is this cruising? Adolescents are eligible for medical treatment if they meet the following criteria. Fulfill DSM criteria for gender dysphoria, at least two, Tanner, at least Tanner stage two, no serious psychiatric comorbidity that interferes with treatment, have adequate, adequate support during treatment and demonstrate understanding of the treatment. Demonstrate understanding of the treatment cannot be done by anyone that's under the legal age of 18. Stop trying to coerce our children into gender confusion. If you saw the Megyn Kelly, see, I get off, I get off on little tangents here. Megyn Kelly did a bit with uh, Bill Maher, the guy that used to do the show Politically Incorrect. What's it called now? Something with Bill Maher. I thought it was interesting. You should check it, check it out. She um, she took her kids out of school because of the indoctrination of the sex ed, ed uh, curriculum. Sad. Who's going to stand for the children? Not the left. Not Joe Biden. They're encouraging this kind of stuff. Man, it breaks my heart. Oh, so what we try to do here is bring you uh, information that busts all the propaganda, the disinformation, the misinformation, and, and just the straight out lies. If you get the other side of the equation, maybe you'll start to see things a little differently. Maybe you won't be indoctrinated by the left. We're going to hit on some clips. We're going to hit on, uh, uh, let's see, what else we got here today for you? Um, Antifa, one of my favorites. This is the True Tube channel on YouTube. So if you search T R E W, true, T R E W, tube, T U B E, you will find this channel right here. Uh, there also is a channel called The Jim Fannin Show. This one's a little larger than The Jim Fannin Show is. 
I mostly put up the same stuff, but it's my sixth and seventh channels. Canceled for hate speech. Censored. Harshly, I might add. Looks like I'm getting a red light here. Maybe I'm uh, too harsh in your in your mellow there. Uh, this is Antifa. I just want you to hear the cackling of these lunatics. It's and this uh, one woman is going to spit in the face of a police officer. girl like this telling you that you disgust her after she spits in your face. Now, does this look like what Ilhan you, Omar's daughter a little me. bit? Look at that. Uh, you me. And her handler's got to take her back. She can't even me. spit correctly. You know... Makes my head hurt. This goes on and on and on and on. It's going on all over America right now. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I'm going to play this to the end. I'm very tolerant. Tom Brady gets a little pissed and tosses the Lombardi trophy over to Gronk on another boat. Yes, I think they were drinking. Yes, I'm okay with it. Who cares? Oh, wait, we're really skipped. Oh, here, let's get control of this uh, run, away, run away freight train. I think I reordered the clips here. I thought that they would play. This is It should have played straight into this. Oh, this is the first clip. We miss this. Now, the invocation of can the, someone tell me this, like, what this is all about? Property, um, like, to guard Please. That could feed people. That's like, just like that. weird. That's so weird. It's it, weird. It's Does this guy look yeah, like Tom like, McConnell to you? Um, yeah. To me, right? Like, this is, it, it falls in line with what the police do now this in Portland, which is like. Obviously, he's a man. He's got a mustache, but he's got the vocal fry of like a 12 year old girl. Like around the ice building, the ice rental property in South Portland. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't make fun because this is actually sad. It's heartbreaking. Of it's disturbing, in and it's not it, natural. It's, it's not normal, uh, and we should not try to convince our kids that it is. Hey, tolerance for everyone. <laughs> Why do I always have to pause it on the scene that makes the person work look the worst? Just it's just it's just how it happens. Right, let me try and get a better shot of her. Oh yeah, that's bitter. <laughs> Uh, again, these clips, I'm not I'm just commenting briefly on them. It's a quick in and out today. Uh, they'll be in. Well, if you go to true.tube, it's in the playlist called clips and they're in this order. We showed you this one. Here's another one. Black Lives Matter. Antifa in Black Block. Portland, Oregon is the location. They're stalking police officer police officers <gasps> the mental illness that is with us today is profound and should not be overlooked more Antifa making the news as they continue to ride in the United States of America this is not Antifa although they dress like it they have police uniforms on and they are showing up to a woman's house 
Can I finish my sentence? You don't need to speak with If you fin it, if you damage his property, you are going to be arrested. I and that's not, not going to help you. Is. That's not going to help Excuse you with me, your. Sir, can I finish my you sentence, can. please? Arrogance. Okay, then I'll just speak over you, because clearly you're unreasonable and you don't listen. Clearly you're unreasonable you and you don't listen. Property. Why? Because she's in her home right. and she doesn't want to be so assaulted by a police officer. This is the Hamilton Wentworth Police Department, by the way. Now watch this. Enjoy your bullying of a position. <laughs> he thinks that's pretty funny, eh? You think that's funny, eh, Copper? I wonder how you do out in the world, out in the street, without your badge. I bet you, you get the piss beaten out of you on a regular basis, animal. I will eat your ass. This is Alex Jones. I like this clip. I don't know why I threw this in there. I will eat your ass. I will eat your ass first. I will, I will eat your ass. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the U.S. government said Huawei is an espionage arm of the Chinese military and urged Canada not to use their 5G technology. In November, Parliament called on the government to make a decision blocking Huawei's involvement in 5G. Today, Minister Champagne announced 14 NSERC projects for 4.7 million in partnership with, you guessed it, Huawei. Mr. Speaker, why does this government continue to give Canadian tax dollars and intellectual property to Huawei? Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, Canadians deserve a secure and uh, competitive 5G network. Uh, we need to make sure uh, that we're making the right decisions for Canadians, for businesses, to both protect them and keep them uh, playing on... Uh, 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 somebody shoot me. <laughs> this cock doesn't answer very many questions, does he? I'm trying to bring, maybe I should do a show where I just bring you positive news. Tough to find. This kid never answers a question. It's quite sad. And this is, is a legitimate question on the Chinese company Huawei, which has been uh, banned, well, was banned under Trump. Biden made it okay for them to come in and, and um, take part in their electrical grid. But Huawei in the States, at one time anyways, was banned from doing business with the States because they're an espionage, they, they, because of the espionage they run. Global playing field. Uh, that's why we base our decisions on expert recommendations. Uh, See, expert recommendations. Justin, just because you repeat a lie over and over and over doesn't make it truth. You are not relying on expert opinions, scientific evidence, or <laughs> anything that's well tested or proven in a lockdown with the vaccine rollout none of it you're an embarrassment to the whole country and in front of the world what do we do what do we do well in canada we reward you with a full majority government after the next election which looks like it's going to be in the spring I may run. From our top security analysts, uh, that is the work that we've always... Anyways, he just goes on and on and on. He doesn't answer a damn thing. Here's another example of it. This association says if you're going to make people stay in these hotels at their own expense, possibly make them quarantine... This is on quarantine hotels? You need to do this based on evidence. What evidence do you have that Canadians... Answer the question, Justin. ...existing quarantine rules and that these new rules... What evidence do you have that Canadians are ignoring existing rules? Sorry, the initial testing on arrival... Uh, needs to be a PCR test. Everyone who arrives... PCR tests uh, are bullshit. Previous, uh, everyone who arrives in Canada has... He just can't uh, spit it out. He can't PCR answer a question. Uh, ...over the past 72 hours. So uh, we know that even if they start to develop uh, the, the, uh, the virus inside of them, um, it'll still be at reasonably low numbers, which is why a rapid test on arrival is not as good as a PCR test. That PCR test particularly if there are significant numbers of travelers, um, could take two or three days to get a result. As soon as they get the Shut result up. of that Shut like, up. I'm sorry I put you on to this too much. This is a smokestack 
at the General Motors plant, the old General Motors plant in St. Catharines, coming down. <laughs> Pretty sweet. There was no permit obtained for that demolition. Just gonna send it! <laughs> I wish I could give you this guy's name. I should be better prepared when I bring you these cuts, but um, you can figure it out yourself. This is a Canadian guy who gets uh, really amped up on his Yamaha TXE or whatever. I don't know. He's got a beat up old snow machine, the Yamaha, and uh, he's one of my favorite clips. Just gonna send it. Just gonna send it! <laughs> now, I don't know if you've seen this. If you have, uh, too bad. You're watching it again. But this is... This is a man. This is a man. This is a man on an oil rig doing a man's job. Now, I'm not saying the women can't do the job, but there's no women on oil rigs, really. <laughs> Not doing this job, man. This this dude, you know how easy it is to lose a f like a finger, a hand, an arm, or a leg on one of these platforms. Check out how these guys run. They whip the chains. See how the bottom one's tightening up. Spinning around. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by this, but this is not a job that just any man can do. You better be in shape. You better be tough as nails. Watch this part. There it goes. A little bit of lube. Tighten it up. There it goes. Just tight. Spin it up. And around. Like, is that fascinating or what? You saw the Tom Brady clip. And that's it for the clips I think I got for you today. Chuck Schumer. Um, doesn't care about the people in Texas that died as a result of having no electricity. Here's what he had to say about Texas. Texas thought it could go at it alone and built a system that ignored climate change. It was not what's called resilient. And now Texas is paying the price. I hope they learn the lesson. When we build power, when we build anything now, we have to take into account that climate change is real. I hope they learned their lesson. Oh, like the two-year-old that was killed? That died as a result of not having power? Man. I am almost hopeless. Here's TrueTube. You can go find the clips uh, in in the playlist. Maisie Hirono. A woman that cringes me more than almost anyone. Senator, um, if anything was necessary, Except this guy. Our attention on uh, white supremacists, uh, that, that was the attack on the Capitol, and um, I expect... Um, uh, the white supremacist attack on the Capitol. So this insurrection that happened on January 6th that they will not shut up about, that they are going to drag out... They don't have impeachment of Trump anymore. They're going to drag this out for years. They're always going to be talking about the white supremacists that ran an insurgence on the government. Trespassing, maybe jerking off, maybe putting their feet up on someone's desk, uh, stealing a lectern. <laughs> Nobody's lives were being threatened, okay? And white supremacy is not a problem, okay? There's a what, 300 Klan members in all of the United States of America? White supremacy. When's the last time you met a guy that like actually believed that white people were better than everyone and that 
everyone else should die. And no one else should get benefits or work or equality. Like, it just doesn't happen. Nobody thinks that way. But the narrative is that white supremacy is our biggest problem. Uh, this is slightly offensive TV. Uh, I'm working on an interview with Elijah Schaefer. He runs it. And I thought this was really sweet. Um, you know, you have there's this uh, couple on TikTok. Uh, they happen to be white. They adopted a black kid. Um, they teaching their baby to like tap dance. You know, like it's just cute. Like they maybe they couldn't have. A, I think like a lot of people can't have children. They wanted to to adopt some a child. Yeah. They were they crossed. You know. Um, cultural boundaries they you can't expect that they intentionally adopted a black kid they i would assume they probably actually just adopted the kid because it was the kid was cute and yeah. they wanted they wanted a kid um and unfortunately there is a, there are a lot of black kids in the in the adoption system right and could have been where they are and you're going oh that's so nice that's just so nice well black twitter uh you know Tariq Nasheed, who's a race baiter is like white couple gets some tap shoes for their black adopted child like is this racism? And uh, it was like, oh, who's stupid enough to like buy into this bait? You know, well, people are, right? They're writing things like here, uh, like, it should be illegal to adopt black children if you're not black. Wow. And these are like, by the way, liked by thousands of people. Yeah. Uh, like thousands. Call it like it is, Tariq. This user said, white supremacist couple abuses black baby. This. I shouldn't be doing an accent. This baby should go straight back to the orphanage from which it came. That has I don't to be know fake. What, I don't know where the dog... These are not fake. These so I went, fake. No, no. I went through Twitter and I read through all of these comments and I specifically picked them out. They're not fake. These people are really upset because they think that this baby tap dancing, and I believe these parents um, have their own dance company and studio as well, which is why they are teaching their baby to tap dance. That is... Um, Savannah Hernandez. She produces for Elijah Schaefer on, I didn't know this, I should watch the show more often. He was on uh, Gavin McInnes not long ago. Savannah Hernandez, I spent an hour with her uh, months ago. It's, if you search Jim Fannin and her name, Savannah Hernandez, you will find uh, my conversation with her. Um, and... Uh, Slightly offensive TV, excuse me, is the um, is the channel. So what? Uh, domestic terrorism in the U.S. is more dangerous now than after the Oklahoma City bombing. This cuck, Merrick Garland. Oh my, my hope is waning for humanity with people like this that are trying to convince you that white supremacy is a problem. Yes, there's racist of all colors and stripes. White supremacy, man, I don't know. I, I, I wish I had the clip. I don't have it loaded right here. Uh, I'll get it for you next time. All right, so that's a little bit of where you can find us and where you can donate if you want patreon.com slash free speech this is how you find me peace love hug your neighbor and take that filthy dirty diaper off your beautiful face and let people see it do not comply defy because if you keep masking up it's just evidence that they can control you in other ways all right i'm out